Hey guys, it's Kayler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today is day 35 of the Daily Vi. Today we're creating a blog post, and this is going to be an application style blog. Uh, so we're going to have a lot of the app features, so we're going to have user profiles and things like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with our app. So I've went ahead and opened up just the normal iPhone template. So my width is 375 and my height is 667. And I also have my viewport at 667 as well. So the first thing we're going to need to do is grab some things from the Apple iOS kit. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And we're going to grab this navigation bar. And then I'm also going to grab a bit of this stuff over here and copy that. Now I'm just going to paste that here. Let's see, is this the black status bar? Yes. Okay, so we need the white status bar since we're going to have this a certain color. So I'm just going to flip this around and send this to the back. And I've went ahead and uh, selected a few colors. So we're going to be using the materials.io colors. If you guys missed my color video where we talked about a lot of great color resources, I will put a card on the screen right now where you guys can go and check that out. And that's where I'm getting these colors from. Uh, so I'm going to select my blue color. And I always like to change this Bluetooth logo color to white as well, just to match, just because it annoys me with what color it is. So I'm going to center up this text and make it white. So this is going to be the Today tab, so today's blog posts. And we're also going to need a back arrow here in a minute, so I'm just going to put a box here for that. And it doesn't matter what it is, I'm just, it's just to symbolize that I need something there later on, uh, just so I don't forget it. So let's go ahead and wireframe out a little bit more of the app. So the next thing I need is a bar about 80 high, almost there, there we go. And I'm going to remove the border, and I'm just going to add a shadow for now so I can see uh, where this uh, box ends and this is going to have our user profile so I'm going to drag out another square and let's make this about 30 pixels big actually let's go a little bit larger something like 32 that'll work I'm gonna border radius this with 5 pixels and then I'm gonna add some padding to the side of about 30 then I'm going to position this about 20 from the top here so let's line that up 20 I'm actually gonna do 15 that'll work and we're gonna need our username so I'm gonna put name here and I'm just gonna keep my font at Helvetica for now and then let's change this to a smaller font and then put 10 spacing in between that and the icon I'm actually going to bump that down to 13. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, just line that back up. And then over here, we're going to need the date of the post. So I'm going to put 30 spacing from the side over here. Change that to a line right. And then let's go ahead and just put the date in. So let's go with December 19, 2017. So this would actually be in the future, but that'll work. And then down here, we're going to have some kind of likes and shares. I'm going to type out uh, just a number. So let's go with like 1,000 likes. And then I'll change this to about 10 size text. And then I'll copy this and then change this to shares. We'll adjust this in a bit. And we'll probably have some icons on there as well. I'm going to copy my square and bring that to the front just so we can symbolize that we need an icon here later put a bit of spacing on those line that up with our profile edge there and I'm just gonna kinda align this visually so it looks like we have even spacing here and here that's pretty good so I'm gonna grab this square go over about 20 and then the text from 10 from the square so we have some even spacing there and just like that we have our kinda user profile section wireframe here so the blog post itself is going to have a image that's full screen. It's going to go down to the bottom of our viewport. And then from there, the text will be down here for the user to read. Uh, so we're going to be doing an inside Alien Covenant blog post. Uh, so I'm going to drag out a rectangle that fills the rest of our section, remove the border. And since I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and remove the shadow from this before I forget. And so I'm going to drag in an image now. I'll just paste that over here. And I'm going to crop this, Command Shift M, selecting both of them will allow me to mask the shape. And I'm just going to select my image by double clicking and then selecting the image itself once inside of the group. 
And I'm just going to kind of visually position this so that they're both on the screen. Let's see. Maybe her gun's fully in the screen there. And then I want to see more of their feet. So I'm going to drag this up. Somewhere around there should look pretty cool. And so now our text is going to go over here in the bottom corner. So I'm going to go ahead and add the text now. So let's say inside alien covenant. All right, so we're going to position the text down to the bottom. I'm going to do our 30 spacing on the side, and then I'm going to go up 20 uh, from the bottom edge here. Let's bump this up. So we might need to realign that. I didn't think that through. Well, let's bump it up to about 30, maybe a little bit more since this is the title. It needs to be pretty big, around 35. And let's just position that on the bottom. And for this text, I'm actually going to change this to this is Museo Sans, I guess. That's how you pronounce that. And that's just because this text stands out a little bit better than Helvetica. And since this is the title, I want that to happen. Uh, so that's why we're doing that. Let's go ahead and change this to white. And then on the font weight, let's try about 500. And I'll reposition that 20 from the bottom. So we have something like that. So that looks pretty cool. I know I want uh, some icons down here in this corner. So I'm just going to grab this icon square. And then using command in my square bracket key, I'm going to bring that to the front. And these are going to be pretty decent size. So we'll put one, we'll just position it into place. So 30 from the side and 20 from the bottom there. And then I'm going to copy this and have one probably above that. So that might be like the like and share buttons that we're symbolizing up here. Uh, this just gives you the number. And these are some pretty large icons to draw your attention. So that will work. And let's go ahead and expand our canvas down uh, just a little bit for now. And I'm going to create the comment section now. For our comment section, we're just going to copy the blue rectangle we have up top here. Because I know this is probably going to be the same color later on down here. And I'm going to adjust this height to 50 and just drag it into position like that. We're going to have something that says comments. And then we're also going to have in parentheses how many user comments we have down below. So let's just put a random number in there. I'm going to select all of that and change that to white. And let's drop this down to 15. And then position this somewhere off the side here. We're going to have an icon. So I'm going to grab one of my squares and just position that to symbolize that. Scale that down. It's going to be just a down arrow. So what we're going to be doing is this is a collapsing comment section. So if the user selects this, the comments will expand. They can view all of them. And we're also going to have a reply button here. So they don't need to see all the comments if they just want to reply on the article itself. Uh, so that's kind of the idea on that. So let's put some spacing there. And then we'll space the comments from that. And so we have something like that. And so for the reply button, I'm just going to drag this uh, rectangle over. And let's do 30 spacing, probably. We might do 20. I don't know yet. I'm just going to kind of adjust this and then let's apply the five border radius. I'm actually going to try 20 spacing from the side, even though we've been doing 30. Yeah, that doesn't look so bad. All right, so we might leave that. And uh, that's going to be our button later on. And so I'm just going to put some reply text in here. Reply, just Helvetica, and let's drop it down to 13 on the font. And then I'll center that alignment and then center it up inside of the button itself. And so we have that. So that looks pretty cool. And all we have left to do is add in our text, I believe, and then we can finish off uh, the rest of our design. I wouldn't really call this a wireframe. It's a little too detailed to be a wireframe. I would just call this like a, a visual concept at this moment, I guess you could call it. So let's go ahead and expand our artboard down a little bit. I'm actually going to go with around 1250 something, 1260 ish maybe. We have a pretty decent size amount of text. I'm actually just going to drag it down to about 1500 uh, just so we have plenty of room. We can always move this comment section at the bottom as needed. So I'm going to grab my text now. So I have that on my clipboard and I'm just going to drag out a text box. 
I'm going to try to uh, use the same padding. I have uh, 30 on each side, so we'll align that up just like that. And I'm going to paste this in like so. So I know from the top I want 30 spacing from this edge. And on our text, I'm going to drag this box way down so we can expand that a bit. So we're actually going to change the spacing on the default uh, here in XD because we want a little bit more spacing so it's uh, more readable. So something like that so it's more spaced out. I'm just going to leave it at Helvetica and on the font size just leave it at 20. And I have a grayish blue color I'm going to change this to. That looks pretty good. And what I need to do is I'm actually going to expand this to 20 margin on each side so I'm just gonna kind of drag this out roughly to about 20 there we go center that up and then make sure the 30 spacing up top so there there we go and now we can just drag this entire comment section up to about there and then bring up our canvas or artboard either one uh, back to around there. So we did end up around 1250 high. Uh, we're pretty close. So we have something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and click the live preview button so we can take a look at how this is feeling. That's pretty cool. So this text is just straight from Google telling you about the movie. It's not actual blog post text, but it'll work for the design itself. Yeah, so let's go ahead and start adding some of our icons and things in and finishing this up. Let's start off with, uh, let's go top to bottom here. So we'll just add in this icon now. So I'm going to go grab it, my arrow icon. Copy that over. Just paste it in and drag it into position. This actually might be perfect sized. I don't ever recall having to change this icon sizing. So let's just, I'm going to align this to the top of the uh, today text just because I think it looks better with how they have the Apple kit design. So let's go 30, we'll align it up with that edge. And then let's change it to white. Okay, so continuing going down from top to bottom, we need a face icon, so I already have one. I have a faces folder, I highly recommend you get one if you do a lot of UI concepts. It's really helpful, just have like 30 different faces in there. I'm gonna add a white border to this and I'm gonna change it to two and then apply a default shadow, but I'm gonna remove the Y value to zero. Uh, so you can see that we have that. Actually, that's, that's probably too thick. Let's go back to one. Yeah, much better. And for the name, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this text. I'm just gonna say John, or not Jogan, John C. And then I'm gonna change the text color to the blue gray that we used on the text down below in our blog post. I'm also going to do that over here as well, and I think that's all the text we need to change, but I'm going to make sure, quickly scroll through here. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to need a heart icon for the likes and a share icon uh, for the uh, shares, and I'm also going to need those down here as well. So I'm going to drag in the larger ones first, and then we're just going to copy those and kind of scale them down. So I'm going to grab both. Copy those, paste them in, and then let's just delete that. And then on the color, grab my path here. I'll change it to my red color that I have already in my experience design file. And then we'll put it 30 from the side and then 20 from the bottom so it lines up with the bottom of the text there. And then I'm just going to position this one centered above that. Let's just change it to white so you guys can see it. Actually, let's just go ahead and change it to its uh, color. So I'm going to try using the blue-gray for now. Let's see if that stands out enough. Center those up. And let's do 20 from the top. So let's take these two now and copy them and just drag them up here. And we're going to scale these down to around our text size. So I'm going to put them side by side. Grab both. Center them up. And let's just start scaling down. I'm holding Shift and Alt, by the way. And something like that, I think, is similar. Just maybe a little bit larger. Zoom in more so it doesn't snap so bad. Around there. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all these squares since I don't need them. And let's position the heart 
with this aligned object here, so the profile, and then I'm going to center it up with the text then, and then take 10 spacing from that. Going to center the arrow up 20 from there, and the text needs to be 10 out. So there we go. Let's actually remove some of that spacing in between the share button and the uh, text. Tends a little much, so I'm going to go with like seven, and I'm going to do the same over here. So for this text, let's make it more realistic. So let's say we have 2,000. 349 likes and I'm also going to make this text red since we have actually liked this blog post that's why this icon down here is red as well instead of this gray color and then for the shares we'll just do something like 240 because you never have as many shares as you do likes on most things that is now I'm going to remove the shadow that I added to both of these icons so we have that right there continue on down the page I think the last thing we have to do is the reply button and the down arrow so I'm gonna grab my down arrow icon just copy that over it's really small so it's gonna be hard to grab onto just position that centered with my rectangle and I'm gonna try to drag this over to the side I'll do 20 spacing and then I'm gonna take the text 20 from there. And then let's change this to white. I believe this icon, by the way, is from linear icons. Same thing with this arrow. Uh, these two, I don't remember where these are from. I have a lot of them that don't even have a pack that I've just collected over time. Um, but just a quick Google search, I think you can find these on Google Images and convert them to an SVG or just filter the search to SVG. So we have spacing on both sides of our down arrow, which is a lot better than having something that I used to do like that. I don't think that looks as good. So I'm going to undo that. So uh, we have nice clean spacing. And then for this button, let's change this to a darker blue. Whoops, I'm on the border. Remove the border and then a darker blue on the color. And for the text, we'll just go with white. And we have something like that. Thanks for watching the video guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. On the left is my previous video, just in case you missed it. On the right is YouTube's recommendation just for you, and the top center icon is my channel icon. Click that to subscribe for more content just like this. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.